Hello, I'm Hannah Absalom. And one of the things that the Lord has been speaking to me about lately is just the power of our voice, our tongue, uh, our words and the words that we use. Because, of course, James talks about um, our tongue and about taming the tongue and about the power of life, the power of death that the, com- the tongue can can bring. And so, um, so yeah, the, it's just in, interesting as I just think about our, our words, the words that we use and the, 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 the life in particular that we can bring with our words. So I've got a couple of Proverbs for you to begin with. So Proverbs 12, verse 18 says, the words of the reckless pierce like swords, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. Another one, Proverbs 18, verses 20 to 21. From the fruit of their mouth, a person's stomach is filled. With the harvest of their lips, they are satisfied. The tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it will eat their fruit. And uh, for leaders in particular, uh, James talks about uh, leaders, uh, leaders' words are even more important, that we are going to be judged more harshly, we're going to be held to a greater account um, because because of the words that we speak. So our words as leaders, rightly or wrongly, are deemed by others to be weightier. They often have more impact. So of course, there's a responsibility resting on our shoulders. Um, And if you think about the Bible and just throughout the Bible, the power of words. So right at the very beginning, that that God created the whole world world through his words. He just spoke and things came into being. Um, Jesus healed the sick and drove out demons with a word. Ezekiel spoke an army into being through his words. Prophecy is speaking words of life to release people into their destiny. So how can we be more careful with our words? So first of all, of course, we need to stop any negative words that are coming out of our mouths. So negative talk, criticism, complaining. I sometimes think, you know, if if the Lord always asks us to be uh, thankful and the number of times that we're told to be thankful or give, uh, give thanks to the Lord or whatever, that's almost giving praise to the Lord. So if, if thanks and praise are praise to the Lord is complaining, praise to the enemy. I don't know, but that's an interesting thought that I've I've been pondering. But anyway, so negative talks, so criticism, complaining, speaking negatively of others, etc. But um more importantly, I think, um it's how can we specifically be life bringers through what we say? You know, if if our words can relief li- release life, they can release d- destiny or help people partner with the destiny that the Lord has for them, how can we join the Lord in doing that more? So whether it is, so I mean, how, yeah, how can we use our tongues to do more of the encouraging of the strengthening of the building up of others? So whether it's to children, the children in our lives, whether it's only our own children, whether it's other children, we come across and just, you know, that little word to say, hey, you're so good at this, or you're, you know, you're so loved or whatever, whatever feels right. Whether it's to those people we lead. When, when we spot them doing something well, or when we see a gift in them, let's just speak it out and help them to identify the gifts and the calling and the talents that they have. Or to strangers in the grocery store uh, or the server at the restaurant, just by, you know, just noticing and just giving them a compliment or just saying something, I notice this about you, or you just seem to have such a lovely smile or whatever it is uh, that would feel natural to you. Or even those that we don't want to be nice to, you know, those people who uh, annoy us or have done us wrong. Um, Of course, Jesus tells us to bless our enemies and not curse them. Again, that's with our words. How can we use our words to all all sorts of different people to bring blessing and to usher in life? So my challenge to you is to ask the Lord how you can be a life bringer. So I'd love to take a moment to do that now. No time like the present. So let's just let's just calm our minds. Just just pause for a couple of minutes in the Lord's presence. Uh, I'll invite him to come, and then I'm going to ask us a, ask a few questions that we can ask to ask the Lord together. So, so Jesus, just calm our minds, calm our hearts. Lord, where there are times where we have fallen short, where we have used our mouths, where we've used our voice 
are words to tear people down, to say the wrong thing, to be critical, to complain, whatever it is. We've all done that. So, Lord, if there's anything specific that we need to repent of now, I just pray that you bring that to mind and that, uh, yeah, we just be able to repent of that now. And then let's consecrate afresh our voice and the words we use to the Lord to be used by him. So let's just take a moment now to consecrate our voice and our words back to the Lord for him to use for his glory. And then let's take a moment and ask the Lord if there's anyone that he wants to, us to say something to, to bring life when we next see them. Or maybe in a minute, as soon as we stop this uh, video, maybe you need to text them and say, I really appreciate this about you or whatever. So let's just ask the Lord if there's someone specific we need to say something upbuilding, life bringing to Jesus, you've given us our mouths, our tongues, um, to yeah, our words, texts, written, the written word as well as the spoken word to bring life. And there is so much power in the words that we use. So Lord, we just pray that you would take our words and that you would use them for your glory to build up, to bring life, to never tear down, unless it's something not of you that you're asking us to tear down. So Jesus, just use us, we pray, and um, we just pray that you breathe your spirit into our mouths and go from our mouths to bring life in all the different places we go. In the name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs>